I'm sure you're all aware that on Friday we celebrate the E-Day. It's a bank holiday, uh, technically, uh, not that during school closure uh, that will make a huge difference. There's going to be a number of ways we're going to try and mark this as local communities and as a whole nation. It's not easy uh, when we're not allowed uh, to be closer than two metres from other people, but I'm sure uh, that will be creative and we'll find different ways to make this a very memorable and enjoyable day. For you boys, of course, VE Day in 1945 is a piece of history from the last century. It's of course is a true statement, but it's a piece of history which we live with on a daily basis in the freedoms we enjoy. Freedoms we certainly would not have had had the Allies not won the Second World War. There are only a handful of veterans left now to thank personally, so we're very unlikely to be able to do that. But we get a flavour of what many of them were like from the amazing spirit shown by Captain Tom Moore, who even approaching his 100th birthday was looking at how he could push himself to his limits to serve others. From our own war memorial in chapel, we looked at Lieutenant Richard Crisp last November, a Wordsworthian who at the age of 20 gave his life to ensure that the Normandy landings were a success. An amazing story from our own school history. We cannot thank these men and women personally, but what we can do is be aware of the debt we owe them. To recognise the freedoms we have in a country like Britain, based on liberal democratic capitalism, we can have an attitude of thankfulness. And from that awareness of what we have, and inspired by the sacrifice of that World War II generation, Look at how we can give to others in service. Let us pray. Lord God, our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve you and all humankind in the cause of peace, for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of your name. Guide us by your spirit, give us wisdom, give us courage, give us hope, and keep us faithful now and always. Amen.